dear students the topic that i will be discussing today is differences between spoken english and written english at first i will be discussing the general differences between spoken english and written english and later on i will be discussing some of the grammatical differences between the two now to begin with spoken english and written english are the two forms of english language that differ from each other in many ways the way we speak english is at times very different from the way english should actually be written face to face conversation in english language for instance is an example of spoken english whereas english used for textbook writing is an instance of written english so what are the differences between the two let us now discuss the characteristic features of spoken and written english one by one the very first and obvious difference is the difference in the two channels or medium of communication in spoken english the medium of communication is speech whereas in written english the channel of communication is writing thus they have different transmission systems speech is transmitted via sound waves on the other hand writing is transmitted by letters or any other visible marks the next difference is that speech is transient or transitory whereas writing is permanent writing leaves a permanent record as it can be read not just once but many times whereas speech leaves no permanent record or trace other than whatever we remember on the basis of our memory the next difference between speech and writing is that written english is more structured organized and complex compared to spoken or conversational english writing in a formal way includes use of proper punctuation marks proper sentence structure as well as paragraph structure spoken english is more general and requires a good knowledge of stress or accent pitch and intonation thus we may say that spoken english has rhythm which is not there in written english the next difference is that slang expressions are not used in written english we should also avoid colloquial expressions in written form of english language that is we are not supposed to write the way we speak in everyday conversational exchanges writing normally uses a generally acceptable and standard variety of language the next difference is that spoken english is more narrative in form that is story based whereas written english is expository in form that is ideas and concept based next clear pronunciation is required for speech or spoken english whereas good knowledge of grammar is required for written english spoken english comparatively is more spontaneous and instantaneous whereas written english is more reflective a writer normally works alone and may not be acquainted with his or her readers whereas speaking usually takes place in an immediate context and interaction with known listeners with the availability of immediate feedback which is not possible in written english the written text is explicit whereas speech need not be very explicit in speech the information is often diluted and conveyed through many words as there are a lot of repetitions redundancies and fillers on the other hand writing is much more dense that is the content is presented much more densely in writing now having discussed the general differences between speech and writing 
let us now discuss some of the grammatical features of spoken english and written english the very first feature is the use of tag questions now what is a tag question a tag question is a special uh, construction in english language it is a statement or a sentence that is followed by a mini question uh, we normally use tag questions in order to ask for confirmation for instance uh, it is cold isn't it now uh, we need to keep in mind that there are two types of tag questions one is the positive tag question and the next one is the negative tag question now what is this positive and negative tag question when the statement or the sentence is positive the question tag that is added is negative for example we have met before haven't we whereas on the other hand when the statement or the sentence is negative the tag question that is added towards the end is a positive tag question for example we haven't met before have we thus it may be said that tag questions are a characteristic feature of speech rather than writing so in spoken english we very often make use of tag questions the next feature is ellipses e l l i p s i s now what is ellipses ellipses is omission of a part of a sentence while we speak normally so we can say that ellipses is another characteristic feature of spoken english for example while we write we write a complete sentence like do you want a drink while we speak we may also ask the same question as want a drink so the moment we are asking the question want a drink it's understood the meaning is understood so we are making use of this phenomenon which is known as ellipses so ellipses is a characteristic feature of spoken english and not written english the next feature that i'm going to discuss is coordination and subordination of clauses now coordination and subordination of clauses is very often used in speech rather than writing while we speak we make use of coordinating conjunctions as well as subordinating conjunctions in order to join clauses and sentences some of the coordinating conjunctions are like and yet but or for and so on and few subordinating conjunctions are like if until unless whereas though since and so on so a sentence like i will not attend the party for i have no one to go with i repeat i will not attend the party for i have no one to go with so the coordinating conjunction for in the sentence has been used in order to join clauses two main clauses in case of subordinating conjunction uh, one of the clause is a subordinating clause and the other clause is a main clause thus coordination and subordination of clauses this is a characteristic feature of speech the next feature is finite clauses and non finite clauses now in speech we make use of finite clauses whereas while we write we make use of non finite or verb less clauses for example in the sentence dinner finished comma the guests retired to their rooms this is a very formal kind of a sentence which we which is usually used in you know writing not in speech so here the clause that has been used is a non finite clause whereas an example of a finite clause that is used in informal talk or spoken english is the guests went into their rooms after dinner so we need to keep in mind that as far as spoken english is concerned we use, we make use of finite clauses and as far as written english is concerned we make use of non finite or verbless clauses 
the next characteristic feature is signposts signposts are typical feature of written english we very often make use of words like firstly secondly thirdly to conclude to summarize while we you know structure our paragraphs while we write a text but it's not very often used in speech so hence signposts or linking signals you know they are characteristic features in written english and not much in spoken english and the last feature that i shall be discussing is contracted verb forms and uncontracted verb forms now what is this contracted and uncontracted verb forms now when i say that the contracted form of do not is don't the contracted form of is not is isn't the contracted form of could not is couldn't so we need to keep in mind that while we speak we use contracted forms as far as the you know auxiliary verb is concerned but while we write we are supposed to make use of the full form and not the contracted form we are supposed to write i have not seen the movie yet instead of writing i haven't seen i haven't seen the movie yet such kind of an utterance is very common while we speak hence contracted form of the auxiliary verbs they are a characteristic feature that is used in spoken english and as far as written english is concerned we make use of the full form or the uncontracted form thus students in this lecture i have discussed the basic differences at first the general differences between spoken english and written english and towards the end few grammatical differences like tag question ellipses coordination and subordination of clauses finite clauses and non finite clauses use of signposts or linking signals and contracted forms and uncontracted forms in speech as well as in writing hope to come up with more such lectures thanks for listening